Hi everyone, it's Miss Cheryl again from Preschool Planet, and today I'm doing the infamous milk experiment that we all love. So here is some whole milk. It must be whole milk, skim milk, 1%, 2%, not enough fat for this to work. So you gotta get some whole milk. Get some food coloring. You have the liquid works better. You could try using the gel, but I don't think it works very well. And then any type of dish detergent that you have. Um, this is what we have right now. So what you do is just pour the milk in. Now this activity you could just do just for fun, for color mixing, for color experiments. I am actually making this video as I write up my Eric Carle theme because it goes with the my many colored day and so many of Eric Carle's, his, his illustrations are just incredible. But another thing, you can go with feelings, a theme of feelings. I just did this in a Sunday school class. When we talked about how important it is that we talk to each other and try to work out our problems. So we talked about when we don't, we get angry. That's kind of what the color red is. So we'll drop some red in here. We get really angry and uh, feel really frustrated. Um, it gets all kind of stuck like it is in the milk right now. And then sometimes we get very jealous when our friends have a toy that we want so they won't share it or and maybe we need to what are some things that we could do instead of being so green with envy or jealousy? Maybe we could say, can I please have a turn? Can I have a turn when you're done? And then of course as teachers, we need to make sure we let them have that turn when they're done. And then blue, I told them blue is kind of like when we feel blue or people will say that. It means we're kind of sad. We're not feeling great. Um, and if you see a friend that's sad, maybe we should go over and ask them if they want a hug or see if they need someone to play with or maybe they just want a book. And if you don't, all these feelings mix together and turn kind of make us feel kind of yellow, kind of sick inside. And we don't want to feel sick to our bellies. We want to be happy and excited. So when we learn how to help each other and work together, we can get all happy. Okay, you guys ready for this to get super happy? And I recommend you do that little talk with the kids before you do this because they will be so excited. Now you just put a few drops of dish detergent everywhere and watch it go crazy. I could do this experiment every single, well, day, but every single week. So it's really cool, though. I'm pretty certain it's because the soap and the dish detergent pushes the fat around in the milk and it just makes it swirl. Um, the kids will get very excited and want to get super close and some of the kids on Sunday were blowing on it, trying to make it work more. <laughs> they were very excited. Um, and we were talking about colors, we can talk about, look what happens when we mix colors. What colors do you see? Some of the kids saw purple and they noticed that we didn't put purple in there. So we talked about how do we make purple? We noticed we have some pink in here. Well, we put in red, why is it pink? Well, because it mixed with the white milk. Um, some of the kids noticed there was a lot of green and it could have been from the green food coloring or from the blue and the yellow. Now when this starts slowing down, in one of our kids right now over here, it's kind of looking like lava. Yes, we had many kids who thought this would be very cool for the dinosaurs to play in. I say go for it in the water table. If it starts slowing down, you just put a few more drops in and maybe on the side over here where there's some... And it's starting to all turn... Over here, we're starting to turn the same color, but as you can see, it's getting a little crazy over here. So this will probably continue to mix and swirl for five, maybe 10 minutes. It depends on how often you put soap in it. Um, you could also set up little trays like this for the kids to do their own individual activities and give them a little, um, have them pour their own milk in. Maybe they could wear gloves. I, I know it really does stain their hands, but I personally don't care about that, but I know parents do, and it's really hard to get food coloring off of our hands. So rather than do that, you give them some clear gloves to use, or you could drop it in for them and then just give them a little cup with soap in it and a little pipette and let them drop their own soap in. They would love doing that. Now I have not tried this, but I had one teacher tell me when they were done making this, they got paint brushes and actually used this to paint on paper with. That would probably look very cool. I think maybe because it's milk um, and just regular milk, that might be kind of cool. I don't know how it would dry on paper. I haven't tried that. If I had a paintbrush handy, I would try it right now. <laughs> um, but I know if you use usually evaporated milk with food coloring, it actually dries pretty shiny on paper. 
But so anyways, this is our milk experiment. I don't know if it will start swirling if we put more soap in there. I think it might be all done. Um, but I say go for it. Do it once a week. You could do it at circle time, do it at the science table, do this at the water table, wherever you want, but have fun with it. And come over to uh, preschoolplanet.com. It's preschool-plan-it.com. And check out our Eric Carl um, theme that, page that will be up, as well as the other. There's like 150 themes. All the themes are free. You're welcome to use any of the activities in your classroom. And have a blast. Happy planning.